Elizabeth, we're actually finally here. In front of all of our family and friends, fully planned for more than four days. <laughs> Nine-year-old me and... And 30-year-old me are absolutely ecstatic right now. Oh, wow. This is for March 26, 2020. Elizabeth, I begin writing this letter to you one year before the day of our wedding. Our wedding. I do this knowing that I will never have enough time to put into words how much you truly mean to me and how much I love you. Doing this by showing you every single day is the only way I know I can portray this message. But why not attempt to do so through a year's worth of words as well? At just nine years old, I knew there was something special about you. Hey. Elizabeth was my very first crush uh, back in elementary school. I think the first time I can really remember seeing Elizabeth was back in fourth grade when we had a uh, class together with uh, Miss Kittinger. The only like real memory other than just you know running through the playground uh, was watching a movie. Um, I was just behind her, and instead of watching the movie, I was just watching her watch the movie. <laughs> okay, September 5th, 2021. Elizabeth, I'm up in Montana today celebrating Matt's bachelor weekend, and all I can think about is how excited I am to be in front of all of our family and friends and finally be married. As each day goes by, this excitement builds and builds. I can only imagine what it will feel like once it is March 26, 2022. Love, Chris. We started dating back in 2018. Uh, it was right after I got back from Afghanistan. Um, she, she said we couldn't start dating until we were actually in the same spot together. So it started at 12.23 in the morning on December 28th. December 26, 2021. Elizabeth, we have had another amazing holiday with your family, and it has finally hit me that the next big event will be our wedding. It has been a true blessing to see how much support we have in our next big step in our adventure together. I love you so much, Elizabeth. Love always and forever, Chris. I knew she was the one that I was going to marry on July 6th, 2018, uh, when I was in Afghanistan. Uh, she, she sent a card out. Um, it was just one of those just because cards and it had a picture of a black cat and I had a black cat with a white mustache and she drew the white mustache on that cat on the card and once I opened it and saw it was from her, I, I knew it, uh, that, that she was the one. I have it saved in my phone as she's the one every year. February 20, 2022. Oh. My babe. The universe just could not wait any longer. Our wedding day is today, just 34 days before we had thought. While the circumstances are not ideal, it just shows us that fate has always wanted us to be together forever. I am so lucky to have you and our amazing support system. I know things are scary now, but I promise everything is going to be okay, and I will be back home to you in no time. I love you so much, my beautiful wife. Love, Chris. Time has come, our life is changing Getting used to all this rearranging You and me, we're here together I will take it on, no matter this weather oh, babe. This chapter has ended let a new one begin I think back and smile At the memories within Yeah Friends, family, we are gathered here in the sight of God in the presence of friends and loved ones to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. Today is a celebration. A celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of two people who have already joined together, <laughs> but we're going to honor that venture today. First wedding was planned for March 26, 2022. 
So it was a Friday, President's Day weekend, and he texted me, we're going. I leave Tuesday. And then just within that, that one week period, we went from our wedding is in less than a month to our wedding's in three days. We had about a 48 hour window from the phone call to gather the Driscoll's and the Roloffs and get down to Fort Stewart, Richmond Hill area, <laughs> and go down for the, the very short notice wedding. On the way to the courthouse, of course, I get a flat tire. And it's this long, windy road in Georgia with nothing around it. I'm dialing Chris, before it stops ringing, I look up and there's a white van pulled up. I thought, okay, oh my gosh. So comes over, hey, is anyone helping you? And I said, actually, I'm trying to call my fiance right now. And he goes, I'll take care of it, it's fine. And I'm just standing there like shaking, telling him the whole thing, like, oh my gosh, I was so nervous. Oh my gosh, we're going to the courthouse, he deploys Tuesday, we're trying to get this done. He switched it out and of course I, you know, you're in the middle of nowhere. I'm looking through my purse, I have one $20 bill, I'm like, can you please take this? He's like, nope, like, go get married. And so I always say, like, um, our grandparents, our grandmothers have all passed. And so I always say, like, that was, we definitely had guardian angels, because otherwise we would have been as well, so. It, you know she's a military child, so she's been around the world. She knew what she was getting into. This woman has been around the world twice. She saw what mom went through, multiple deployments, uncertainty, taking care of the home fires, doing the key volunteer things. She was all in with Christopher, all in with Christopher. He is my favorite person. The reason I always knew like no other guy is gonna meet up with Chris is how he makes me feel. It's a warmth, it's a familiarity, it's, he just, he makes me feel like I'm the prettiest person in the room, and I love him. You are the love of my life, my partner, my best friend, my everything. This is a love sprouted from hundreds of tiny moments together and serendipitous events shared with family, friends, and loved ones. You can tell a lot about a person by how they make you feel. For me, you have always made me feel a comfort and belonging that I only get from my family. We've already gone on countless adventures, as high as the Rocky Mountains and as low as the originally bug-infested home in coastal Georgia. <laughs> but none of them as great as what we started on February 20th. Our life together, married. Elizabeth, I owe you the world, and I vow to cherish you in every way. I vow to be the careful hesitation every time you come up with a bold new adventure. <laughs> I vow to be the comfort and belonging that lets you know you're home. <laughs> I vow to love you, grow with you, and be your person for the rest of your life. Now that Elizabeth and Christopher have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving of receiving of rings, I announce to you that once again we acknowledge them as husband and wife. And folks, it is my privilege before God and everyone here to introduce to you again Mr. and Mrs. Christopher and Elizabeth Drisco. Chris, let me now kiss your bride.